Good morning, YouTubers. X Joe eighty one X here, continuing the winterization process of owning a home. What you've got in front of you is a two thousand and four Craftsman eight point zero horsepower twenty seven inch electric start snow blower or a snow thrower depending on how you were brought up. Uh, 27 inch is obviously the mouth from A to B. 8.0 horsepower is actually the Briggs and Stratton motor. It has an electric start. The uh, cord you plug into a home or if you have it in a garage or a shed and you put it here plug it in boop and um, you press the button I will show you that a little bit later this was manufactured in 2004 it says it right there 7 26 2004 which means I probably purchased it around September of Octo or October it was roughly around a thousand dollars for that time if I'm not mistaken um, a quick synopsis is basically you have multiple safety features. You have your on and off. You have a pull piece of plastic like a key. And, uh, you know, I'm sure you could stick something in there, but it's a certain shape. I just keep that in here. Obviously a choke. One, two, three, four, five. And obviously a primer and gas. The uh, oil is separate. It's right here. They recommend you change the oil after, you know, an X amount of hours. The oil was changed about two years ago. I'm probably due for an oil change, but as long as it runs for right now, we have six speeds. Push up. We really don't really go past four, but when I throw snow, depending on how wet it is, pretty much only do two, and two reverse. Traction drive on the left makes the tires go, and an auger drive, which turns the augers, which throws the snow out here. There was a more expensive model. I suggest going with that. This turns, it's great. But when you're moving, it kind of like does this when it's running. And the snow kind of, when you go all the way left, for instance, I put it in the shed. So I would come out here and then I would go up the driveway and I would throw it here. So when you throw it there, it kind of, you know, unfortunately in the middle of a snowstorm, I'm probably not going to take my device out and record it. But hey, you never know. It kind of like does one of these. Take my word for it. So you might notice the uh, Harbor Freight Central Pneumatic Compressor out. Well, of course, guess what happens? The tires go flat. But they're so thick, they actually don't bottom out to the rim. So I read the, I read the side walls. Can't find the instruction booklet. Might be downstairs in my file cabinet. But uh, pretty much filled that up. Pretty much filled this up. The side walls say no more than 20. Um, you know, let's see what this is. The great thing about this is this one, oh, if I could get it out, it, it kind of, you could kind of take this tire off. And I've always had a problem with this bead. After a couple of years, this bead just wears out. So let me see if I could do this with one hand. Mm, yeah, nothing. So it's all ready, it's all primed. I actually did the other tire with it, got it up to like 30. Whoop, whoop. If you're wondering what this cord is, I like to really say this every single time. Apple sucks. I have to plug this in on an iPod 5 and constantly use a disc to record all my YouTube videos. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna get a Samsung tablet 
but that's neither here or there. So let's get the plug ready. <laughs> let's see if this holds the bead. I think it was this one that had a problem. Let's go. There you go, yeah! It only wants it to be 20. So let's see. 24. So twenty-one. Just a little little spit. A little bit higher than 20. A little more. A little bit higher. Twenty on the dot. So we'll put the cap on. Let these sit out for a while. Keep this right here. Keep this here. Let that fill up. Kind of keep it out for a little bit. I already ran it. I run it again in a second. Uh, see if the air, basically want to see if the air holds, you know. So basically what I did today is other than just really spring cleaning and cleaning the leaves that fall from the trees, basically the quick version is that the snow blower is on this side and the lawn mower is on this side. And basically what I do is swap them out. So obviously I put all the weed whacker and all the bullshit in there and then I'll back in the snow blower right here. Um, let me see if I could get this, uh, uh, this, one second, I gotta get this plug, uh, let's see, get the full effect here, so I mean obviously it would be perfect to put a plug in the shed, this way you could, uh, what, you know, maybe one day, I keep trying to do, keep trying to think about that, but you know, you forget. You know, maybe in the wall, maybe dangling, or maybe screwed up high so the bugs don't get in there. And kind of just have this hang in so you could start the snow blower right here. You know, start it up. You got to be careful with these pavers. They say be careful because you could scratch the top of them because they're expensive. And then you, I come out here, you know. Oh, excuse me. No big deal. I come right out here and I make my first line, my B line, right down the driveway. And I, uh, basically, that's it. So let's see here. Gotta plug in this device, you know. I know I'm all over the place. So haven't winterized my bike yet, which is back there. Maybe go riding today. It's a little chilly, but maybe just get it get it warmed up. Okay, so it snowed. So what you do is it's in the shed, you know. You make sure this is on, you make sure the key is on, depending on what choke, you know, it'll probably be really cold, but since I started up real quick, yep, I'm not gonna, let me just turn this choke on, fail, fail. Basically, you can see how loud this thing is. <laughs> So let's try this. I haven't tried this in a while because there's no plug. So basically in a perfect world, you should be able to just plug this in. <sighs> what I'm going to do is unplug the device without electrocuting myself. That'd be pretty funny, huh? This probably thing would keep taping too. Let's see. Okay, I plugged it in. Obviously, you could plug it into the house. Now, what it's supposed to do is obviously put the thing on. Do not use in the rain. No shit. <laughs> so you should just be able to do this. 
Oh, fail? It has to maybe charge, I doubtful. Maybe it actually is broken. Whoa. Well, again that happened. It's, it's, uh, what's it doing? It's like, it's not turning over. It's just locking it. Oh, maybe the plug is broken. There it is. Oh! Now I guess you pull the plug out. Well, for you playing the home game, let's try it one more time. Maybe I was a little, being a little bit scared, and it, the plug maybe wasn't all the way in. So let's try this again. So you plug it in the house, you plug it in here, put it in all the way. I'm gonna hold the plug and push. All right. Um, I guess worst case scenario. Um, oh, excuse me. I guess worst case scenario. If you want to leave a comment, maybe, maybe I didn't have it set. I'm sorry, maybe I didn't have the plug all the way in. Maybe the plug is loose, or you know, maybe I think maybe there's a solenoid in there. Like I said, I haven't plugged this in and pressed the button in years. So just like everything else, maybe it takes it took a little time to finally uh, you know fire up. But hey, it works. You know, I think for the first couple of years, plug this device in. <laughs> I think for the first couple of years, we plugged it in. It was great. But, you know, you get old. You don't want to pull it no more. Uh, but this is a little rundown. Oh, I mean, one little thing on the augers. If it gets stuck or bound up, these things will give free and, and shear off and disappear in the snow. <laughs> and then this, these will turn freely. It won't. I guess it's a safety feature that it won't destroy the motor, the shaft, excuse me, that turns it. And, you know, this you could service them too. You could unbolt them, you know, from the sides. Then you could take the augers out and then, you know, you, you could play that game and paint them and sharpen them. But this is basically like a fail-safe that if it gets stuck, it doesn't just grind. It just breaks free. I had that happen one year. And then, um... Uh, shear bolt storage, and I have an, an, an extra set because in the middle of the snowstorm, you ain't finding and you ain't finding this shit. <laughs> um, okay, so <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> excuse me. This is my Craftsman snowblower slash thrower. Hopefully, we don't get that much snow this year. Uh, please hit like. Please hit subscribe. Please leave a comment if you wish. And thank you for watching. Have a good day.